Hi everyone, welcome to Lead Code Daily Challenge. So the problem that we have for today is flipping an image. We will be given a binary matrix A where uh, all the values in the matrix will be either 0 or 1. And we want to flip the image horizontally then invert it and return the resulting image. So uh, what does uh, flipping mean? So to flip an image horizontally we need to take each row of the image and then exchange, exchange the values uh, column wise that means uh, you exchange the values from first column and the last column then you exchange the values from the second column and the last button column and so on so you just have to reverse the row and then after that we need to uh, invert the values so if there is a value of 1 we need to replace it with 0 and if there is a value of 0 we need to uh, change it to 1 so we need to first uh, reverse the image horizontally then uh, invert the values and then finally return the result so let's look at uh, some of the examples so here is what we have the first example we have three rows and three columns so the values are the values in the first row are 110 then the second row are 101 the third row is 000 so first uh, to reverse the image to flip the image horizontally we need to uh, reverse the values in each row so let's take the first row so this becomes so it becomes 0, 1, 1, this row, then second row is 1, 0, 1, and this is symmetric, so it becomes same, so 1, 0, 1, then third one is 0, 0, 0, again same symmetric, so this again becomes 0, 0, 0, so there is no change. Then we need to change the values uh, based on whether it has 1 or 0, and then we need to invert the value. So 0, 1, 1 becomes, 0 becomes 1, 1 becomes 0, 1 becomes 0, so it becomes 1, 0, 0, then the second row becomes 0, 1, 0, then the last row becomes 111 because all are 0 so we need to replace with all 1s. Then in the second example we have uh, 4 rows and 4 columns. So after reversing each row uh, the first row becomes 110 becomes 0011. The second row will be this is again symmetric so it uh, remains same 1001. The third one it becomes uh, 1110. The third row becomes uh, yeah 1110 if we reverse the last row becomes 0101 then we need to invert the values so let's look at the constraints so the array length a matrix length can be uh, from 1 to 20 the dimensions can be 1 to 20 and the rows the number of rows and columns are equal that means it is a square dimensional matrix and the values, all the values in the matrix will be either 0 or 1. So there are uh, no other values. So these are the constraints and they are uh, pretty small. And the problem description looks uh, pretty simple and straightforward. So I don't think we need any further explanation. So let's see how we can uh, do it. So before we jump into the coding, let's look at uh, two uh, conditions that we need to take care. There are two uh, scenarios that are possible. So let's see here. I think it's already given in the examples. So in the first example, if you see, the size of the matrix is 3 by 3, whereas in the second example, the size of the matrix is 4 by 4. So we can have odd number of uh, rows and odd number of odd number of columns and odd num even number of columns. So let's say uh, we have a row like 1, 2, 3. So we need to replace the value in the first column with the third column. So uh, it becomes 3. And the last and the value in the last column becomes 1. So we need to exchange 1 and 3. So the uh, middle column it remains same. So, it, so when you reverse the row it becomes 3 to 1. So let's take the other example where we have even number of columns in the row. So now we need to exchange values uh, from the first column and the last column, fourth column. So it becomes 4, 4, 1. Then we need to exchange second column and third column. So it becomes 3, 2. So if you see here, when we have even number of columns, we have a match with it for every column. Whereas when we have odd number of columns, we, we don't have any match for the uh, middle column. So we, just, we, we don't have to do anything because the middle value doesn't change. So it remains as it is. So we just have to exchange the values on either side of the middle column. So that is the only thing we need to take care. So let's uh, write the code. 
uh, I'm going to show uh, the solution both for C++ as well as Java. So let's uh, write C++ code first. So let me write from beginning. So first we can take the size. So this is the size of rows as well as columns because we have a square matrix. Then let's iterate through all the rows. So we are going to iterate every row and then take every row and then we need to reverse it. So here we need to do j equal to 0, j less than m by 2, j plus 1. That means we are uh, going to iterate from uh, first column till uh, the m by 2 column. That means we will iterate only the first half of the columns and we will uh, try to exchange the value with the corresponding column on the other half. So let's take the uh, let's take backup of the value from the current column. Then we need to modify the value at current column. It becomes yeah, ij equal to so we need to exchange with the if it is the first column we need to exchange with the last column. So it becomes m minus j minus one. So I will just show you how this value has come. Then we need to replace the value in the column with temp. We have taken a backup right because if you don't take a backup the value will be overwritten here. Yeah so exchange has been done. Now we need to invert the values. That should be done for all the columns. So afij becomes if afij is 1 then we need to replace it with 0. If it is 0, then we need to replace it with 1. Yeah, that's all. We need to return A. So let's look at this condition how uh, m minus j minus 1 has come. So let's say we have 1, 2, 3, 3 columns. So for first column, j value will be 0. And its corresponding uh, column, will, uh, column with which we need to exchange will be 0. So here n is m equal to 3. So it will be 2, right? This is the 0th column, first column, second column. So for 0th column, it should be 2. Let's take a little uh, more, uh, m equal to 4. So for 0th column, the corresponding column that we need to exchange with is 3. And for first column, it is second column. So uh, we have used the condition m minus j minus 1, right? So here m is 4. So 4 minus uh, j, 4 minus 0, 4. So 4 minus 0 minus 1. So that is 3. So the condition that we are using here is m minus j minus 1. And if you see this one, so m is 4, 4 minus j is 1, 4 minus 1, 3, 3 minus 1, 2. Yeah. So that's how we got the condition m minus j minus 1. So that's it. So it should work fine. Let's uh, run it and check. Yeah, 0 milliseconds. Let's submit and check it. Yeah, the solution has been accepted. So before we go into the time complexity, let's look at the solution for Java as well. So uh, again, same, we need to take the size of the matrix. So the Java, it's slightly different. Instead of uh, size, we have length uh, attribute. Then it is same. We are not using any library functions here, so it is almost same. Uh, similar to C++. So we go through every row, then we go through every column, in fact uh, the columns uh, till the half, first half, then uh, again we take temp variable, take a backup of the value in ij, then replace value at ij with value from the column i comma 
m minus j minus 1. Then change the value in the column with the m which we have the backup of a of ij. Then uh, again we need to invert the values. Here we need to go through every column because we need to change the change value of uh, every cell. So value of a of ij becomes it should be inverted. So if a of ij equal to equal to one, then replace it with zero. Else replace it with one. Then return here. Let's execute and see. It works fine. Of course, we haven't given any input here, so let's run for one input. Yeah, the output matches, so let's submit and check. Yeah, the solution has been accepted. Let's check the time complexity. Yeah, here it is. So all the test cases have been passed and the runtime of 0 milliseconds. So let's look at the time complexity. So we are basically uh, processing all the rows, then uh, processing half of the columns. Uh, so basically, uh, uh, so it should it will be like uh, number of rows will be m, number of columns will be m by 2. So it will be in the order of uh, o of m star m by 2. But anyway, m by 2 is a uh, almost equal to it will be in the order of m so it will be uh, ideally in the order of uh, time of time complexity will be in the order of o of m star m so o of m square and space wise we are not using any additional space so we are using the same array that is passed to us the same matrix yeah so that's it for time complexity and space complexity and it it is same for both c++ as well as java and one final note before we uh, close this video so uh, we have we are doing a separate uh, for loop here to invert the values so what we can do is we can actually do this operation uh, here itself so please try it try it out the only thing that you need to take care is when there are uh, odd number of columns and even number of columns you need to make sure that you don't uh, uh, let's say when there are odd number of columns we are not touching the middle column but but for uh, Inverting the value, we need to change the values from the middle column as well. And uh, same way, if there are even number of columns, we will be changing all the column, uh, all the columns. So we don't have any middle column. So you need to make sure that you don't do this exchange twice if you are uh, moving this inside here. So that is the only condition you, to, you need to take care. So it should be fine. So yeah. So please try it out. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and provide your feedback. Thank you.